Hi there, it's day three of the 21 day adventure and I am just gonna wing this handheld uh, phone. I am just dealing with a lot of contrast. Everywhere I go there's noise, there's people and uh, so I'm just gonna do this from here, from the a parking lot. And um, I guess it's a great example of sometimes you gotta move with things and stop fighting and just relax into it so that's my lesson right now and um, as we all set intentions for ourselves and want to really see something through to the end for 21 days there are a couple of things that come up uh, and one of them is contrast so I want you to ask yourself when you uh, in the past have set an intention for yourself or you have set a goal for yourself and you got stopped. What stops you? So for you, what gets in the way of you having what it is you want to create? Do you suddenly get very busy? Do you feel overwhelmed? I know for me, I get confused or the waters get murky and I'm not sure or clear anymore. Um, but it could be anything. Sometimes maybe you feel sick, you feel tired, uh, overwhelmed. Whatever it is that comes up for you in the face of you having what you want, you know, you creating what it is, that, that intention, that thing that, like you, like you wrote down yesterday, what will it give you to have that intention realized? What is that joy, that peace, that fulfillment, that killing, you know, creating a life you love? Because if that thing is not in the way and if you are able to live a healthy life if you're able to have clarity if you're able to set boundaries if you are able to all of the other things that you guys have been writing I, I want to um, really get to know each other's intentions because they all are reflections of each of us. I mean, how many times have you read something of someone else's and you think, oh, that's perfect for me too. Well, guess what? You get to adopt that as well. Just keep your main intention though so that you have a guiding principle, something that's gonna bring you through this 21 days. And of course, many other things are gonna come up for you and many opportunities to walk through some old fears and create some new ways of being for yourself. So. Here I am reporting from a, uh, literally a parking lot. <laughs> so I am really experiencing, you know, surrender right now. And uh, I hope that when things come up for you, you can just stop, <sighs> take a deep breath, and let what may be be, and just do what you need to do anyway, just to keep going. Keep going after what it is that's gonna make your heart sing and uh, go to the Facebook page, write about that thing that you know about yourself. I want you to tell on yourself. What's the thing that comes up for you? Where do you get stopped? Share that so that it's not a secret anymore. It's not hiding somewhere like, oh, I'm so afraid I might do that thing I always do. Get it out, talk about it. Let's not have these things that aren't even real own us. They're old behaviors, they're old ways of being in the face of you stepping up. So step into this intention and know that it's yours. This is your life and you can create whatever it is you want and we are here to support you. We have your back and just relax into the love of the group and know that you're in the right place. So every single one of you, I love that this is a more intimate group for the ones that uh, did the seven day challenge. This, this group is much smaller, so every single one of your voices are important. It's really important that every day you share something uh, as a reply to the video message or whatever message I give you for the day, that you participate and that you actively work towards that intention. We're gonna uh, keep unfolding and we're gonna have some opportunity to really peel some layers back. But first, I wanna get really grounded in your intention. And I also, as a second part of, of the writing on Facebook, I really want you to look at your intention and what you said on day one, and is it something that you can measure? Because if you keep it too vague, if, it, if you keep it something that you don't know if you really got there or not in the end, 
then it keeps you from having to focus or keeps you from committing. So I want to know how you know, how will you know that you have accomplished that intention? How will you know that you've gotten there? What, what's the way of knowing? I mean, you know, for the people who, who want to get healthy, I mean, you know, saying you're going to lose a certain amount of pounds, it's really not about that. And, it, and I, I don't want it to become about that. But it's good to just have a goal or, or around food. How about uh, I don't eat at fast food restaurants anymore? Whatever it is for you. I don't want to put anything in your ear. I just want there to be some specifics that at the end of the 21 days, you know you have something to see where, how far you've come, where you are. So that in the face of the struggles, in the face of not wanting to um, push yourself, and I don't mean that in an um, uncomfortable way of, of pushing yourself too hard or too much, but allowing yourself to embrace this change, allowing yourself to really embrace this process and move with it, okay? So go to Facebook, write about those two things, and um, we're just going to keep on keeping on. And uh, I'm just going to keep experiencing my contrast and uh, smiling through it. So love you guys and uh, see you on Facebook. Mwah.